Hi there guys, I'm Steve, your host, and this is a show where we talk only about games and game industry. Today I have a very important update for all of you who have published your games in China or who are about to publish their games in China. There was a new update to the rules and regulations. ISBN has been updated this morning. If you have followed previous episodes when I uh, when I had the interview with my friend Maciej from at the time Wanda Game Publishing, um, he was talking about that the, the games that have in-app purchases must have ISBN. The games that have only revenue model uh, advertisements do not need any uh, government approval or any certifications. Well, with the, this morning, with the update of the policy, all games, regardless of their uh, monetization strategy need to have ISBN and I encourage you all to spread the news around so that people know if they need to uh, publish the game or if they have published the game before without the uh, proper certificate to go ahead and update that. The very important thing that's going on with this update is that all the companies who have submitted their game for approval before will be revoked and will re be required to resubmit again because the government is changing their um, policy completely from approval process. If you have a, a publisher in China or co-publisher or anybody you work with from China, this is a perfect moment to get your game uh, ready to work in China because this do not impact foreign companies coming to China, this impacts Chinese companies in China as well. And um, the uh, new policy should provide more flexibility in the end to everybody publishing in China and give them uh, more opportunities to update their games later so they can go without in-app purchase to in-app purchase uh, with one update without requirement to change any of that. Because uh, from what we are able to read from, from the uh, Chinese media is that uh, many games uh, do not have in-app purchase, they have only ad revenue model and then they add the revenue model and they are already available on the market and then they cannot be taken down but they uh, cannot be approved and they end up in the loop and they never uh, get the, the new ver version released. So this way the government wants to have everybody have the license in the beginning so later when you have in-app purchases it's easier for you to update your game. That's all we got for today for you guys and if you're interested to learn more about uh, gaming industry and uh, if you want to get yourself involved in the biggest gaming community like, share, subscribe and see you in the next show. Take care guys!